Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to call a store procedure with parameters in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can call a store procedure with input parameter and output parameter. So recently I got a question from one of my subscribers Deepak and he asked me the same thing. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, I got a table, dim date table. Okay. And this particular table contains data like it contains the date key in YYYY MMDD format and then it returns the data like full date uh, where the data is in MMDD YY format and then it returns the day of the month, day name. For example, if I pass this value 2010-01-05, so it will return the date as 01-05-2010, day of month is the 5 and the day name is the Tuesday. So this is kind of data it contains. So I have created a store procedure sp underscore get date day of month day name and it requires an input parameter date in yy mmdd format this one and then it returns three output parameters full date day of month and the day name so full date day of month and the day name okay it returns these variables and what it does actually it selects the data from the dim date table and uh, it pass the input parameter to the table and then it return the data to these variables okay so in sql server how you can actually call this particular store procedure is that so we declare the first output parameter here as date the second output parameter as integer and the third output parameter as a string okay so we declare the variables here and then we are calling this particular store procedure and this is the first input parameter to the store procedure and this is the first output parameter this is second output parameter and this is third output parameter so if you notice for the input parameters we don't need to write like input here but for the output parameter in the store procedure we need to write like output and similarly while calling the store procedure if you are passing the parameter as an input parameter then we don't need to write like as input but if we are passing the output parameter then we need to write as output so that the SQL know that this, these are the output parameters and as soon as you will call this particular store procedure so the value of the full date the value of the day of month and the value of the day name will be assigned to these parameters and then we can select the data like this so for example if I pass the value as this one 2010-0106 so it will return the value as 01 forward slash 06 forward slash 2010 and day of month will be 6 and the day name will be Wednesday. So let me execute this particular store procedure from here. So you can see that it written three variables here. So I want to call this particular store procedure from the SSIS package and then I want to get this particular value in three variables and then maybe I can use those variables somewhere. Okay. So for example if I change this value instead of 06 if I pass for example 09 let me read on the query again. So the 09 will be the Saturday okay and day of month will be 9. So let me open the SSIS package and create these three variables. This is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and let me create three variables here. The first variable I will create is full date and I can click on new and then I can paste the variable name here. The data type maybe I can use is string and another variable I will create is as day of month it will be of integer type and the third variable I will declare is day name so I can copy the name from here and I can paste it here okay and it will be of string type so at the moment the values for the string variable are empty and the value for the integer variable is zero now let me close this one and just drag and drop the execute SQL task into the control flow window because execute SQL task will be used to call the store procedure so I will call this particular task as call stored procedure and then I will configure the stored procedures so I can right click on it and click on edit and now under the connection I need to make a connection to the database where the stored procedure exists so the stored procedure exists in the work database so I need to make a connection to the work database and I can click on ok now because we want to pass the input parameter as well so, so first of all let me just click on ok and create an input parameter as well because i want to pass the value as input parameter so the input parameter will have some value like this so i can call the input parameter as date in yy mmdd you can call it anything it won't matter 
I will call it like this date in yy yy mmdd and the data type will be a string and the value I will pass is 2010 and I can pass any value 0 to 20 okay so this is the value I will pass I can save this one and now I can just go back to the configuration and I need to click on the expressions here to pass the parameters then I can click on expressions and from the property I will select SQL statement source and then I will click on these three dots and I can maximize this one now I need to put a double quote and then what I can do I can copy everything from here and then I can paste it here and then I can end the double quote as well I will share the whole script with you even I can share the uh, create table statement for the dim date and I will share the create statement for the store procedure as well okay so the thing is that here we need to pass the input parameter so instead of this hard coded value we will put a double quote plus plus double quote and then between the two plus sign we need to just drag and drop the date in yyyy mmdd so I can just drag and drop it here so that's the only thing that we need to do because we just need to pass the input parameter from here and then it will return the data in the output parameters and then we need to store these variables data into some SSIS variables that we created so I can click on ok because it will return just one result set so we can click on the general and from the result set we need to click on single row ok and now under result set we need to add the parameters here so the first value that it is returning the first variable is the full date so we need to change the result set name to 0 and the first one is the full date so we can add the full date here the second column is the day of month so we can add another row here and the result set name will change to 1 and now the second one is the day of month and the third one is the day name ok so we can add another row here change it to 2 and it is day name ok so we have configured all these variables here and now I can click ok so let me just try to put the breakpoints here so that you can see that how the value will change ok so I can put a breakpoint on, on pre-execute and then I can put a breakpoint on the on post execute event on pre-execute event will be called when we are just about to execute this particular execute SQL task and the on post execute event will be fired up when this particular task will be done so I can click on ok at the moment the values are empty here and the only value we have for the input parameter so let me execute the SSIS package so the on pre execute event has been fired up and if you go to the debug menu and go to the windows and then go to the locals and if you expand the variables here so we got three variables so the day name is empty as of now the day of month is also zero and the full date is also zero this is because these are the initial values and as soon as I will continue with the process then the data should be populated to these three variables so let me click on continue so now you can see that for the 2010 0 to 20 the day name is Saturday day of month is 20 and the full date is this one 2010 0 to 20 ok so this is how you know right now the values got assigned to the SSIS variables and now you can use these variables inside the whole SSIS package maybe you can create some more tasks like execute SQL task or maybe some other task and then you can use those variables there ok so this is how you can actually use the input and output parameters with the store procedure in SSIS Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.